I'm gonna show you how I made these photos just on my phone and I didn't even go into the city. And I've used different backgrounds too, so it doesn't have to be landscape, it can be whatever kind of wallpaper or kind of vibe that you want to go with your photos. So here's some examples of ones that I've done. And I'm gonna show you how I did these. So first off, I took a bunch of photos um, I'm showing off my new sweater that I designed and just finished making. So I've got a couple different pairs of jeans on. I've got lots of different positions, but I just wanted to make these photos stand out a little bit extra. So first step, take lots of photos and different positions and think about what kind of backgrounds you want to use. So like this is a little cobblestone street, so I've just got myself, you know, standing in the street. But I don't even know where this is. It's definitely not anywhere near I, where I live. So we need to go find some photos. So you go into your safari. And here I've searched iPhone groovy backgrounds. If you put in iPhone wallpapers or iPhone backgrounds, you're going to get the right shape, the long skinny shapes otherwise you might get the landscape and it becomes a very small photo so it's hard to get the right crop but i just searched through here uh, i like this one so then take a screenshot holding the top volume button and your power button at the same time and crop everything out here done and save to photos now go back into your photos and pick which picture you want to put on that background i am going to try this one so you can see i took this picture in my closet it's got a plain wall behind me which is fine um, but you can see just in the corner there i've got some stuff on the floor so just to we're going to copy just the subject and you're going to tap the subject on the picture not if you hold down you're going to do the live because it's a live photo so i'm going to tap and hold for just a second and then you see how it's highlighting around me and i've got the copy or share option so click copy now i'm going to go into my instagram and I'm going to go into my story and then I'm going to pick that background that I picked from Safari and then I'm going to tap and then hold down to get the paste and then there I am so it's only taken me now I've got my feet cut off so you're gonna to want to move yourself around or the subject to position it properly so I cut off my feet. I'm going to move myself down to the bottom of the picture. Do I want to be on the rainbow or beside? You can, know, you can play around with it. Say there. So then you can swipe left or right to edit the photo, but only the background is going to get the edits. The subject hasn't changed at all, no matter what background I've, or no matter what filter I've got. So then what I do is I go back to just normal and I go up to the three dots and hit save. Then I'm gonna go out and back in, pick the photo that I just saved. And if I swipe, I can get those filters and it will edit the subject and the background. I like this one here. What's that one? Lagos. So now I feel like this matches a bit better and I'm happy with it. And I'm going to back to the three dots and hit save. And that is it. So it's a really fun way to change up your photos and take them to the next level without even having to leave your house. So you can find all sorts of cool backgrounds searching, you know, Instagram backdrops iPhone wallpapers or just like city landscapes I thought was kind of a cool idea and it'll really change the vibe of your photo from just a plain wall in your house. <laughs>
All right. Well, I hope this helps. And let me know in the comments.